the wonderful job co-founder exchange for media group to say a few words. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nawaza Kuja. Thank you, Bhavna, and a very warm welcome to all of you. Uh, sounds like a cliche, but I'm really glad to see human beings finally, instead of uh, you know small blurbs on a computer screen. This is, uh, as you all can imagine, this is the first day when we are doing almost two years to date. 12th March 2020 was the last one, so uh, and you know a very apt and relevant event to start the year. It sets the tone for the advertising business for the media industry. Uh, so thank you, thank you all for being here. Thank you, and I'm so glad to see a lot of my friends. Shivam is in the front row. Thank you, Alok, Sam, Vikram, Avinash is here. Suji, uh, thank you for being part of this. Mahesh, uh, you know, so many people I'm meeting after such a long time. It's very interesting. Uh, you know, me and Pran, Sam were trying to recall uh, when did we start this. I think the year was 2004 because I couldn't find, uh, you know, pre-2004 issues uh, of pitch medicine survey. And the first issue we uh, printed with this report was in February of 2005. And Sam would recall at that time we used to do this initiative in Delhi uh, on the poolside lawns of a hotel in, uh, you know, uh, central Delhi in Karat Place. And used to be very, cool, I mean, very pleasant and nice evening in Delhi, as you can imagine, a February evening on the poolside. And the industry was very different then, right? 2004, uh, I recall reading the numbers, the entire ad business was 10,000 crores. And now, I mean, there are varying estimates, our own report of last year says some 75, 80,000 crores. So in 18 years, you know, it's jumped 10x. Uh, a lot of us, in fact, all of us would, would have liked it to jump even more. Uh, you know, as we all know, India's uh, GDP ad to GDP ratio continues to be very low, uh, around, you know, less than half a percent as compared to Western markets, which do, you know, one percent or more in some cases. I know we have a CEO panel, a bar pack CEO panel, so he is also speaking. So maybe that's also a hint for, you know, all of these CEOs to significantly up the amount of money they are spending on advertising and see the results, see the, you know, investment paying off. Uh, what the other interesting thing I noticed from, uh, you know, that 2004 report was digital was, you know, 45 crores in the entire year. Uh, which is perhaps the uh, you know revenue that you know Google clock, clocks in a day in India now. In fact, it would be more than 45 crores for Google in a day. So you know, 18 years, 45 crores to again varied estimates, 17, 18, or 20,000, 20,000 crores now. A very big rise, very big jump, and the kind of opportunities that it has opened up for the digital business, for the advertising businesses, you know, humongous, uh, you know, as opposed to say 10, 15 years where agencies would focus only on, you know, buying and planning. Today, you have so many avenues to, you know, engage and offer your services to clients from influencer marketing to data analytics to sort of audience uh, uh, research to, you know, programmatic advertising. So it's, uh, it's been a long journey for digital. As some of you might have also seen, um, this year, you know, Sam's idea was to change the format a little bit. So we released the sort of advanced, not advanced estimates, but last year's number already in advance, three years, three weeks back, we uh, released the 2021 numbers, which said the industry grew by 37% last year, which is very healthy, obviously also because of the low base effect. Um, a lot of parts of the industry have started refiring. You look at TV, it's all already bounced back. Digital obviously has grown humongously in the last one year. Print is, you know, starting to get back to pre-COVID levels. I was reading a Jagran uh, annual uh, quarterly report last week which said their uh, revenues are back almost 90% to pre-COVID level. The, you know, big bellwether Times of India is also for like-to-like -like revenues, I'm told, you know, somewhere around 80 odd percent. It's a very good news, which means that, uh, you know, uh, Hopefully, this year, uh, all parts of the industry will be back fully to normal, and we would have gone way beyond, uh, you know, where we were in 2019 pre-COVID. What is also interesting is that the composition of the revenue growth has significantly sort of changed. Uh, some of the legal legacy categories are not fully back yet, but their place has been taken up by you know, new age categories. You have so many D2C companies, so many technology-based companies which are advertising, which are spending money. And I think 2022 will be a year where you will see not uh, only a narrative 
of legacy versus digital media, but increasingly the narrative of digital plus legacy media, and I think that would be very healthy for the business because increasingly clients are looking at combining digital with print, with television, and that perhaps gives them better results. The other interesting part, as we all know this year, is going to be all the cricket right bids. Uh, humongous money is expected to be put in. And in a lot of ways, the amount of money media companies put in, uh, you know, all these uh, uh, rights bids also foretells what is the industry growth they are expecting. So in a lot of ways, more uh, money being bid is uh, good for the ad business because eventually advertising will have to fund that business. Uh, more audience will be delivered through, you know, all of these uh, properties and uh, hopefully uh, better better growth numbers will follow. Uh, I'm also told uh, by a lot of colleagues that Sam's presentation sets the you know, sort of revenue targets for a lot of media companies. I hope the 22, 2022 numbers are as good as the growth we had last year. For Sam, on, on behalf of uh, you know the chief revenue officers present in the room, I'd, I'd like you to be more human, find a balance between good growth and revenue pressure that they have to drive because you know 37 percent is a very big number. Uh, not achievable. In fact, our, our report says that the last time we got anywhere close to that number was in 2007, which was also less than 30 percent. That was the year before uh, you know the Lehman crisis uh, hit America in 2008, 2007. We grew by 27 odd percent. Uh, obviously, the uh, base was uh, much lesser then. Uh, so, with that, I'll not uh, take long. Uh, I finish by thanking uh, our partners who have been, uh, you know, supporting this initiative for many years. Arunash is here, his entire team. Thank you to be part of this initiative for you know, 10 plus years. I don't have exact recollection of which year we start this association, but thank you. Viacom, Mahesh and Steve are there. You have also been part of this initiative for many years now. Thank you for being part of this. Also, uh, Yahoo, their team is there, the Shalem team. Uh, and uh, good, good news today is Abats. Thank you for being part of this initiative. Like you, I look forward to Sam's presentations and rest of the deliberations in the evening. And also meeting uh, all of you in person and having a great day tonight. Thank you so much. God bless you. Look forward to the evening.